All right, well, we'll get underway, uh, everybody. I'd like to welcome you here today to the auction of 1 at 26 Jess and Crescent in Dandenong. It's a beautiful home and a beautiful opportunity. And in a few minutes' time, I'll hand over to you for your competition and bidding. Uh, but prior to that, uh, my intention is to go through the documentation that's been on display, the rules of auction, and then hand over to you for your, comp your competition. My name is Tim Stickley. I'm the director of Barry Plant here in the city of Greater Dandenong. Been selling the area for 34 years now, so I'm starting to feel a little bit old. Uh, and I'm ably assisted by the younger ones uh, today with Sahail and Abby, who's been looking after the campaign, assisting you with your inquiries. Wish you all the very best with your endeavours here today. And hopefully in a few moments' time, you'll be the happy and proud new owner of this beautiful uh, property, which has been magically transformed. So let's get through the documentation. Uh, first and foremost, the rules of auction, they outline that the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of the auction. The vendors have a reserve price. As the auctioneer, I will indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids. It prohibits major disruptions by bidders, prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for this contract. So we're just looking for a good spirited auction. I always say no hip and shoulders are allowed, okay? So um, the beautiful thing about auctioneering in Australia as well is I've never had an incident and it's a wonderful place we do get to live. The rules also do permit vendor bids and the words I'll use during the auction indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor, a simply vendor bid. By law, only I as the auctioneer can make vendor bids. And the beautiful thing about that for all of you is that anyone else bidding here today is here with the same intention as you, and that is to purchase the property. property in the absence of that, I'll simply place an offer which is at a level you need to be at or beyond if you're genuinely lo looking to purchase a property here today, and that's as a guide for you as we go along the way. The rules also um, prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for the property after it's been knocked down to the successful bidder. So if I declare that the property is sold, I cannot take late bids. So please work with me closely to avoid any disappointment there. Uh, onto the contracts of sale, they've been on display, it outlines the vendor and the land under offer is described in Certificate of Title Volume 11015, Folio 785, land together with improvements, one at 26 Jess and Crescent in Dandenong. It's being offered today with those things of a fixed and permanent nature as per your inspection here and uh, we're looking for a, a 10% deposit upon successful purchase with a balance in either 30 or 60 days, whichever your preference may be. The vendor statement, it's attached to the contracts. It outlines our land as per the title here today. We are in a general residential zone under Schedule 1 uh, and also the outgoings which include the City of Greater Dandenong and South East Water come to a little under $2,000 as per again documented in the contract. Services all are avail available here. The phone is not currently connected. So that's the contracts as they've been on display. Is there any questions about them whatsoever before I continue? No? Pretty straightforward. All right, well, let's move on. And the final rules of auction state that subject to the reserve price, the highest bidder whose bid is accepted shall be the purchaser. And the lucky last, geez, there's a lot of rules these days. Do you find that everything everywhere in life? But the final rule of auction outlines that if the property is passed in below the reserve price, the vendor will first negotiate with the highest bidder for the purchase of the property. So in that situation, if we don't hit the vendor's reserve and I pass it in, you want to be the highest bidder and you've got the exclusive right to secure the property without anyone else entering into negotiation. Very, very important. You don't want to be standing uh, in the crowd after the auction going, we, we are prepared to offer more, but someone else is holding that key position. So you need to bid to buy. So whether you're buying under the hammer or you're the highest bidder, make sure you're the last person standing. That's the key at auction. All right, let's have a look at the property, shall we? And it's been described in the script as first class in every way. And if you've had a chance to flow through, I think you'll agree with me that this property has been so beautifully presented uh, that I actually described it as probably better than when it was built. And I think you would agree with me with the work that the owners have done uh, all the way through from the front curb to the, the rear garage it is perfection. The owners have lovingly and painstakingly transformed this property. They've lived here and they've done a tremendous job. Shannon's a builder and you can just imagine if you're going to put that touch on your own home, you're going to do it with pride, you're going to do it with precision and you're going to do it with detail. So it's not a job where someone's just decided I'm going to do a dual occupancy, I'm going to quickly whip it up for the market and then look to sell it. He's done it with absolute first class work from the casement windows, from the old windows. He's brought these windows in and it gives me that feel of what something down in Armadale or Baldwin would be like. 
Um, I just hate to think what the price tag might be if you're looking to buy this in those areas. Today, what an opportunity to enter the market at a very, very affordable level and move into a home where you need to do nothing. Just simply enjoy the hard work that has been done. From the canopy trees to the beautiful courtyards front and back to the flow as you go through with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, glistening polished floors. You've got square set uh, cornices through the living areas there. Beautiful mirrored robes through the bedrooms. It's a delightful home. It's a really good opportunity. So whether you're looking to downsize with no stairs to climb, you're looking to start out as a young couple, or you're looking for an investment property where we're situated so close to central Dandenong, it ticks all the boxes. I've said enough. I'm in your hands. I'll hand over to you now for your competition and bidding here. For one at 26 Jess and Crescent, great opportunity. Start me where you like. It's not where we start, but where we finish, get me underway. Got a bid to buy. $470,000. What a sneaky low that is, but I'll take it. Thank you and welcome. All the very best here today. At four seventy, dollars the bid. At $470,000, who'd like to round me to $500,000? At four seventy, dollars I have, looking for a round up to $500,000 now. You need to bid to buy. Five hundred, dollars I have, two in it now. At five hundred, dollars just beat you over here. What would you like to do? Five hundred, dollars the bid. Back to you there if you like. Another 20, come with me if you like. I'll make it easy for you. At 500, the bid for the first call. At $500,000, the bid for the second call. 20 now? Looking for a 20 just now. Looking for a 20 just now. At 500, the bid. I'll just be coming back for more otherwise. At 500, the bid. What do you think? <laughs> While the consideration is here. Can I say 20? At $500,000. 520, thank you very much for the bid at 520 now. At 520, it's back to you here. Quick bid's a good bid. At $520,000, make your intentions clear. At 520, 50 if you like. At 520, the bid, what would you like to do? Nominate that rise. $520,000 once. At $520,000 twice, $530,000. I'll go in tens from here and I'll extend the same opportunity to you now. At $530,000 the bid. At $530,000 fairly bid and offered in your hands. At $530,000 first, second. $535,000. I'm looking for tens. You keep rounding me down. That's not the way to buy a business. You want to go long and go strong and make your intentions clear. $40,000. At 40 now, that's it. Let's go in tens, let's keep this moving. At 400, 540,000, not 450, 540 the bid, I'm getting confused. At 540,000 dollars, 50 would you like, get yourself back on top. At 540,000 dollars, bid with boldness. Sends the message. 545. Just looking for a 10 at the moment. I'll come back for fives. 10 can I say, we'll get there quicker. If you go 545, they got the first chance at 550. At 540 the bid. 50, can I say, at $540,000, looking for a 10, first call, second call, 545, 545, we're going to ground it down, at 5 I'll take, at 545, 550 if you like, at 545 the bid, at $545,000, fairly bid and offered, at 545, unbelievable value, way below costs, at 545, Get yourself an awesome buy here today. Once at $545,000, permission to sell. Twice at $545,000, are we done, silent and finished, no late bids. At $545,000, 50 the bid. At 50 now. At $550,000, 10 would be good at the moment. I'll take five if you like. $550,000 the bid. At $550,000, fairly bid and offered here. Against you there, how are you going, Sahail? Lots of talk, not much bidding. Five fifty the bid. Let's get back in the game. At five fifty, first call. At five fifty for the second call. At five hundred and fifty thousand dollars and five. Five fifty five now. At five fifty five thousand dollars. At five fifty five the bid. Just think about the cost of the renovations here and what it would actually cost to create what they have. At 555, wonderful value. $555,000, first call. At $555,000 for the second call. 
$555,000, no late bids. In or out, need to know. At $555, holding the keys at the moment, you've only got the brochure. $555. Are we taking twos? Looking for five. Just looking for five. We're, we're getting where we need to be. We're not quite there. At 555, can I say 560? It's only money. And it's pretty cheap at this price for what's been done. It really is good value. At 555, 560, can I say? At 555, same opportunity back to you there. At 555, 555, the bid. Okay, sorry, sorry. 555. We're at 555 for the first call. Yeah, yeah, that's right. At 555 for the second call. At 555 for the third and final call. I'll take you two now. Let's keep things rolling. 557 back on top. At $557,000 now. Another $2,000 bid get you back on top. Three, it helped my maths. 557 the bid. Yes. At $557,000, the sale's drawing closer. At $557,000, once. At $557,000, twice. At $557,000, 60 the bid now. At 60 now, come back quick and strong. I'll take a two if you like. 60 just here before you there. At 560, I'll take a minimum of two at this point in time. Five would be a good bid right now. At $560,000, holding the bid, four in it. At 560,000, permission to sell. Are we saying they can have it at that price? At 560 for the first call. At 560 for the second. Two it is now at 562, at $562,000, at $562,000, nominate your rise from here, $3,000, 565, what would you like to do? $562,000 for the first call, for the second call, third and final call, in or out over here Sahail, 562, need to know. Phoning a friend. <laughs> Come on. Take a 50 50 instead. <laughs> At 562. 564. 564. We're in twos now. How about that? 564 <laughs> it is. Back to you. This topic? should be like a table tennis match. Let's go quick. <laughs> Hit it with top spin. 564. At $564,000. Six, can I say? 564. At 564,000. Once. Twice. Third and final call. 565. Down to ones. We're down to ones. 565. Six, would you like? 565 it is. That's right. At 565. We're playing ping pong. 560, 566. 66. Seven, can I say? 66 the bid. 566. 67 if you like. At five sixty six thousand dollars once, seven. twice, seven now, seven. five sixty seven. At five sixty seven, I have back to you there. Five sixty seven. What about five seventy? At five sixty seven thousand dollars for the first call, second call, <laughs> third call. In or out there, Sahail. Five sixty seven. What would you like to do at five sixty seven thousand dollars? We're gonna go again, five six seven the bid. Five hundred and sixty seven. Five seventy. Five seventy, good bid and welcome to the bidding. First bid in. On top now, holding the keys. At five seventy I have. At five seventy thousand dollars, do you want to go forward with a five thousand dollar bid right now? At five seventy thousand dollars, I've seen auctions go fifty thousand dollars in one thousand dollar bids. At five seventy, who's going to break that? Break that chain. At five seventy thousand, one it is. We're in ones. Back to you. Five seventy one. What about five? Five seventy one. The bid at five seventy one thousand dollars. First call. Second call. <laughs> Third and final call, in or out, 
No late bids. $500. No, $1,000. Minimum bid $1,000 for now. At $567,000, that's right, is it? Isn't it? $571. $571, thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. I need you here. <laughs> 571 the bid. <laughs> 571. 571. Looking for a minimum of one. Looking for 30,000. If someone would like to give me a rise by that. <laughs> At 571 thousand dollars. 571 the bid. 73? 73 now. 573. At 573. 573 the bid. Okay. Are you sure? Are we done? Silent and finished at $573,000. The first call. Second call. Third and final call. $573,000. In or out? Need to know. We're done for the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll excuse me while I refer the bid to the vendors, I'll be with you shortly. Thank Thanks you. everyone for your patience there. Obviously selling a home is a big thing just as buying a home is a very big thing. We do respect and understand that. So I've got my instructions from the owner. We're not too far away from the owner's reserve price. So it's a really important time in the auction now. It's your opportunity to continue to bid and we will either hit the vendor's reserve price and it'll be sold or the highest bidder will have that exclusive right to negotiate and secure the property. And at the level that we're at and with where the vendor um, is looking where, where that we're, we're close enough that you don't want to miss that chance. So I can't emphasize that more to you. So I will hand back to you now for your competition and bidding. We're at 700 and uh, 700. Wow, wouldn't that be awesome? So 573. <laughs> 573. And I think we had a rise here to 575. So I'll take you $2,000 now at 575 the bid. At $575,000 the bid, I'll take a $1,000 rise from here in your hands. At 575 holding the bid now. At 575, no further bid, first right to negotiate and secure the property will lie here. If that is undertaken and agreed to, there's no further opportunity to buy today. So at $575,000, I can't emphasize the importance of it more. At 575, can I see a $1,000 rise? At 575,000, I'll take 500, put you back on top, give you that opportunity. At 575 and a half, at 575, 500 the bid. 575, 500. At 575 and a half, holding the bid here. If we're done silent and finished, we'll negotiate here. At 575, 500, I'll call it three more times to be sure to be sure. Bid now or forever hold your peace. First call. Bit of discussion still going on. Bear with us. 575, 500, the bid. At 575 and a half, first call. At 575 and a half, the second call. At 575, 576, the bid. At 576. Back to you there. At $576,000. 576, can I say 577? 576, we're at, holding the bid here at the moment against you and you there. 576 for the first, second, third and final call. Are we done? Opportunity lies here. Do you want to arrest that back at 576? Okay, I'll give you two seconds. How are we going there, Abby? 577. 577. 577 the bid. 580, would you like? 577 holding the bid. Go with the long bomb. 577. We're done. 
Thank you for your bidding at 577,000. If there's no further bid, we will pass the property in for negotiation. First and exclusive right lies here. At $577,000, once, twice, you don't want to come back in with a late bomb, do you? 577, you sure? At 577,000, thanks for your bidding. Third and final call, we're going to be passing in and negotiating here. Thank you very much for your attendance. If negotiations fall through, we'll be in touch to let you know. Thanks very much. Have a great afternoon. Cheers.